Welcome back YouTubers, this is a review of the Titans Return Chrome Dome and Stylor figure from the Transformer series. Now, I really don't consider these two things to be two separate characters because really you have to have the Headmaster, so I'll, I'll be referring to him just as Chrome Dome. Now, Chrome Dome here has become one of my personal favorites due to his portrayal in the IDW comic series. If you want a good read, that's a really good one you should check up on. But he's your basic Transformer figure. Fairly good posability, especially modern Transformers. They've got a lot of posability with the ball and socket joints they have these days. And as you can see, he's got a rifle here. You can split it into two guns and you can also put the Headmaster Titan Master things. I just call them Headmasters because that's what they are in there. But let's get to how this works. First, pop the head off. Check. Then you open up his feet like so. Pop in his feet like this. Fold them in. And then close the backs up so it locks them together. Then, sorry, this, you push out the roof here, like so. Push in the hands. There we go. And then you flip up his chest plate here inside. And there you've got the car mode. Now you can take his little transformer, Stylor, and as I said, he's got two little indents here. Those fit in this little gun platform, which can be attached to the side, like so. Or, as he's really meant to do, you plug him into the seat here. Bend his legs. Pop him in. And you lower this part here. And he's now inside his car mode. Now, in the American series, the Headmasters were aliens bonded to Transformers to make them stronger. In the Japanese Headmaster series, the vehicles were called Transtectors, and the Headmasters were the robots, and they just controlled it. They transformed from a small robot into the head for the bigger robot. An interesting change in dynamic. Now, now Chrome Dome here, he was the lead headmaster for a fair chunk of the Japanese headmaster series. Though Cerebros was really the commander, Chrome Dome here was kind of like the second in command or main adjutant. Either way, he was basically the one most of us focused on. In the IDW comics, he's actually in a relationship with Rewind, the tape transformer. He transforms into a database device of some type, probably just like a giant memory stick. I think that's what it was. It's been a while since I read all those issues. But in the IDW series, they actually go into transformer relationships. And since for the most of the series, except near the latter half, there's not a huge number of female characters, and since Transformers are frequently seen as basically genderless, it doesn't seem that odd to me for them to develop relationships and kinship with one another, even referring to it as elective kinship in one issue, I recall, basically because, well, they get lonely. And, you know, these guys live for millions of years sometimes, so... It's dull. In that series, Chrome Dome here was what's called a memetosurgeon. 
he had needle-like uh, attachments to his fingertips that could pop out and allow him to inject into someone's brain module, basically, and access their memories. He used it originally as a police investigator, basically. Chrome Dome has a lot of personal problems, and he's gone through a lot of personal issues that basically screw him up. One of the telltale sides of the Lost Light series of comics, which he's from, is that all of the Transformers on it are majorly psychologically damaged. But it makes for a compelling story. So if you want a good read and you want a good figure, this figure and the comics that feature him are some of the best ones. So if you have some time, please take a look at the comics and definitely pick up this figure if you have the chance. Now he's been re-released as various other ones like Breakaway, which is really Getaway. But, you know, they had to change the name because of trademark reasons. I do not understand trademark law. But he's been released a couple of times, but I think this, unlike some of the other releases I've seen of him, is really the best one. So, that'll be all for now. Please like and subscribe, comment below, and share this video with your friends, and I'll see you next time. Ciao!